And now, number 75. We're going to begin with a unique new event as stars from the world of football, baseball, and track compete to determine who is the world's fastest athlete. They had us in all these different sports. We had to do a 40, we had to run around the bases. We had to put shoulder pads on and run. Of course, he tore us up in that. Daryl Green, the winner of the football sprint. Daryl Green, the quickest man around the bases. Daryl Green, who's already won two events, looking for a hat trick. He acted like, oh, it's no big deal, but he came there to win it. He was in it to win it, and so, and he did it. I was the fastest kid in my neighborhood. I was the fastest kid in my elementary school. I was the fastest kid in my college, the fastest kid in my conference. I was the fastest for the Redskins. Redskins cornerback Darryl Green was fast. The legend of his speed grew faster. He was born on the Monday night stage, the very first game of a 20-year Hall of Fame career, when Green caught up with the uncatchable Tony Dorsett. Could catch him, Darryl Green, the world-class sprinter from Texas a and I. He ran a 10.08, 100 meters, and that was second only to Carl Lewis a year ago. Tales of Green's speed soon outran the truth. We did run against each other in college. He was a world-class sprinter, but he never beat me. Darryl, stop telling the world, you did not beat me. Darryl's without question one of the fastest guys I've ever seen. Daryl, I'll give you your props, but you never beat me. I don't want to diminish it, I just want to clear it up. Oh, I think I found one. <laughs> two, two, old buddy. Make you run fast. The sweetness of Green's stride was the true source of his speed. When you're really running fast, it looks like you're skipping a rock on the water. He always call it fast and relaxed because it is explosion, but then relaxed. So when you're running your fastest, it feels easy. It's really strange. So any, any person that is fast or a sprinter, it's the one that can settle down and relax, that actually runs fast. That's why when Darrell was catching people, it's like, wow, he's not really running. But actually, he really was running. Got the first down, breaks it, 30, up to the 40. He's chased down by Darrell Green at the 35-yard line. At five foot eight, Green may not have looked imposing, but his speed gave him stature. If you have a hard punch um, from a small guy uh, that's quick, then that's the same kind of force you get from a big guy that's moving slower. had the legs of a sprinter and the heart of a champion. He put both on display in the 1987 playoffs. With the Redskins' Super Bowl hopes withering in the Chicago cold, Coach Joe Gibbs needed a spark in the return game, and Green was ready. Be prepared for that right now moment. OK, son, you're up right now. And in that right now moment, you need to be ready to perform. That was that right now moment. Green driven back to midfield on the far side. He's got the ball up to the 45, far side 40. A seam to the 35, vaults a man to the 30, breaks it to the near side 25. Watch out to the 20, near side 10. He's gone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. I just saw that as an amazing play for many reasons. Number one, he didn't always return punts. He actually leaped over a guy. He hurts his rib. You saw when he got hurt because he started holding his side. And the reason he could do that is because he blocked his mind out and just ran. And it made it look easy. It did not look difficult. It was like the other players on the team just kind of laid down and let him run through it. And that one play turned the whole game. That's what the great players do. They make it look easy, and Darrell was one of those.